Hey guys, it's Matt from Crystal Guitar coming back at you with another session of some talk of chord progression theory and songwriting, all that good stuff. So I want to show you some exercises you can do to practice getting used to going between the different chords and the key. So uh, we're going to stay in the key in G here, our third fret, and again, just a really, really quick review. We have our six main notes we're going to use out of the major scale. You know, this shape right there, which ends up giving us our six main chords. You know, one, four, and five being major, two, three, and six being minor. So you have the whole key here, uh, at least the first six chords. You have the one, the two, the three, four, five, and the six. So here's the exercise that you can check out to practice getting used to basically navigating within the shape. So what you do is you start with the one chord, and you can play that you know for X amount of beats. I'll just do a four beat pattern, and I'm going to switch to the two chord and keep bouncing back to the one. So I'll do the one to the two, and the one to the three, one to the four, one to the five, and then one to the six, ending back at the one chord. So it'll be something like this. Here's the one, then the two, back to one. Here's the three, back to one, the four, one, five, and one, six, and back to the one. So it gives you different combinations that are kind of play off the one chord. And if you remember, the main thing is as you're playing the keys, you always want to know where that one is. If you learn the other shapes, based on um, their relationship to where the one chord is. <clears throat> so you can do the same thing, say, with the two chord. So I'll start with the two, and what I'm going to do is go two chord to one, two chord to three, two to four, two to five, two to six, and end up back on two. So you get something like this. So two to one, back to two, It's also a neat way to get used to hearing different combinations of these chords. So you might find like, oh hey, I like two to five a lot, that sounds cool. And you can do the same thing through the key, just keep rolling through. You start with the three chord next, and you go three to one, three to two, three to four, three to five, three to six. You know, and so on and so forth through the whole key. That gives you plenty of practice. Number one, if you're working your bar chords, it gives you a lot of practice with the bar chords, but also gets you used to playing within that, that shape. Uh, so you can do the same thing with the second shape. Now, the second video we took that second uh, Nashville numbering system shape and we played it off the A string. So we were treating the one chord as being a root five, you know, key of C. So you have the one here. There's your two. There's the three, four, five, and six. You can do the same exercise with that shape. You know, you can do the one chord to the two, one chord to the three. One chord to the four, one chord to five, one chord to six, and uh, and get practice with that shape. Um, and really, the the end result is going to be taking both patterns and linking them together. And I'll show you that in a future video. Uh, but for now, what you want to have control over is being able to navigate within the uh, the shapes, especially the first shape. You definitely don't want to go on to the second shape until that first one is just nailed. So uh, what I would do is practice that whole sequence and you know start with the one chord like I did in the two chord, run to three, you know, so three to one, three to two, three to four. Do the same thing with the four chord, five and the six. And if there's any combinations that you think sound cool, like like for me I really like two five. Two to five is just awesome. So uh, you know, make notes of which combinations you like the best and try to combine them. Maybe like two five and then you know one to four and see what that sounds like. So, cool way to experiment, definitely very useful for songwriting, and uh, it's still kind of, you know, staying, in the, staying within the, the bare bones approach to this whole thing where, you know, we're just working off the six main chords in the key, and 
then we're going to work on combining both the shapes together uh, and then finally we start adding more of the uh, the chord voicings you know like going from a major to a major seven start getting a little different uh, sounds from the same type of theory so um, I would work on that and have fun you know, experiment and definitely write down combos that you like it's very 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 useful to do that uh, and if you have the key of G down then try doing something like you know with the key of F same approach uh, or the key of A that works well for that first shape uh, alrighty so until next time have fun <laughs>